How you doing? Could I get a latte to have here? A uh, medium would be great, yeah. Awesome. But I have a name for it. Jacob. It is ready for you all. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much. Could I just take this one just by itself? Yeah. Cool, thanks. All right guys, guess what? Today is day one of the RepoBear build. I'm gonna be initializing a Nest.js project for the backend CRUD API endpoints. I'm gonna be working with Next.js on the front end, probably use some like Shad CN components to get things started. I need to be able to connect a GitHub account, import private repositories, assign SSH deploy tokens to those repositories. I need to be able to pull the repository from GitHub into RepoBear, then display the code to the client without just returning the entire repo bundle. I actually want to do that rendering in the cloud and then return that down in a server component so that it's kind of like a JavaScript bundle. It just makes it like way harder for someone to copy the code out. It's super exciting. And we're just gonna get started. Day one of the build, baby, let's go. Yo, bro, I thought I'd just give you a call. What I'm also gonna do is add you to the Webflow now as well so that you can make changes too, so that it doesn't have to go through me. Yes, yeah, sweet, sounds good, bro. Okay, cool, talk soon. Okay, bye. Sweet, so Mahalo's working on building the waitlist. Otherwise, I've just made a couple of landing page updates. We've made some copy updates just based on all the form data that we've received. What people want Repo Bear for most is the easy link generation, managing user access, being able to monetize your code is like a little bit further down, but still relevant. But another one that a lot of people are very, very interested in is preventing cloning, because obviously that's something you can't do if you're just adding someone with collaborator access on GitHub. Now I'm gonna start jumping into the code, initially this new project and we're gonna get started. Okay, nice. So boilerplate is all ready to go for the back end. It's pushed up to GitHub, got a brand new repository, got Prisma installed, got my local database ready to go on Docker. So everything's good to go as far as like developing the back end. So pretty much the plan now is I'm gonna write out all the models that I need for each of the tables within my PostgreSQL database. So what that looks like is I'm gonna be adding individual Prisma models uh, into my Prisma definition so I can like get all those tables initialized, I can get some data flowing through, just get some basic values into my database. From there what I'm gonna be able to do is probably roll my own auth through Passport or one of those strategies there inside Nest. Uh, I'll be able to pass that to the front end, which then I'll be able to authenticate with GitHub. We'll pass that access token through the back end, which will then enable us to talk to the GitHub API and add in those SSH deploy keys to each of the repositories when you connect. If I can get that sus today, that would be awesome. Only issue I have right now is it's a little bit cold. <laughs> Once I've got models in the back end, I've got passport strategy in for authenticating with GitHub, it's connected up and allowing me to actually talk to the GitHub API and add deploy keys. At that point, I am allowed to initialize the front end. Front end's always the prettiest part that everyone wants to jump straight to. I'm not allowed to do it until I need to. Hope you guys are enjoying the ride so far. Day one of build, let's go. Oh, all right, this is gonna be a great series. I, I already know it. We've got a space inside. Can't have the, uh, the fingers going numb while we're building, you know? Small, medium, low? Uh, medium, that'd be great. Thank you.
All right, fantastic session. We have got all the initialization done. It's pushed up to GitHub, nice and safe in the cloud. Next steps are gonna be connecting up GitHub, getting that passport strategy for actually authenticating with GitHub, and then being able to send up that SSH deploy key. But other than that, man, what a great morning. Didn't realize it was gonna rain though, so well, I got this mini umbrella. <laughs> Right, let's get home. We have a brand new setup. I came home yesterday and Maddie had changed around the entire apartment. This is actually such a better way to set it up. Check out the office space now, this is sick. We've got all of our Vernal stuff, so the Vernal cabinet, the Vernal desk. Now we've got shelf space to use. Bought this record the other day, old school Frank Sinatra. Finally we can put it up somewhere. But how cozy is this? And it looks really cool at night as well. What do you think, Ken? You think it's good? So build's been going well. I was working on the back end late last night for Repo Bear, building out all of the modules, getting the authentication sussed for like Google OAuth and then GitHub OAuth. I just need to finish off the GitHub part. That's all connected up, which is great. It's all pushed up to the cloud, so we're good to go. I'm gonna keep working on that this morning. And ideally what I wanna do, because I didn't get everything done the other day, just got a bit distracted with a few other things, is if I can finish off actually connecting your GitHub, pulling in repositories, and then actually cloning the code to the back end, I'd be happy with that. One specific thing that I really like about working in this stack, which if you haven't already picked it up, it's Nest.js on the back end and then Next on the front end. I'm just completely offline. Apart from just basic kind of like Google debugging searches, my entire development is offline. Code anywhere, I can code in a cafe, I can code on an airplane, I can do everything. Rather than relying on a third party service that makes it really hard to do offline kind of development. Yeah, definitely recommend if you're getting into like full stack builds and you are trying to build stuff in public and be able to not have to rely on internet figuring out how to actually do kind of like that back end front end everything else in the middle offline is really going to help you out oh, but check this out as well last thing i get a bit of a dopamine hit from initializing repositories like if you jump in here let's go to my look at these brand new boys oh yeah front end build back end infrastructure how nice is that I just love initializing new repositories. It's so satisfying. Also, my stats are going nuts right now because I'm coding like all the time, which I love. So anyway, give me some love on GitHub. Come follow me.